Let's talk a bit about Octopath Traveler. A game soon to release on Steam and one that I was shocked to see how many hours I actually sunk into this gorgeous take on classic SNES JRPGs like Final Fantasy VI and Chrono Trigger when it released last July on Nintendo Switch. I've got so many games in my backlog that I need to get to, and I'm sure that's just about anybody trying to make a life while being a gamer. But I definitely found myself to really enjoy this game. I mean, its aesthetic is definitely visually appealing, and something I'd love to see Square utilize for a Final Fantasy VI remake in a similar engine if they aren't going to go the 3D route like Final Fantasy 3 or 4 DS, or something more akin to Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now let it be said that the game is far from perfect, and the way it handles its character interactions with its main cast of 8 protagonists is such a missed opportunity that it could have added layers of diverse replayability for not only depending on who you start with the game, but who you also venture to meet next on your journey. Each character has 4 main chapters of their own, but despite having any other active party members available, the stories for each character arcs act independently from one another. Aside from some optional banter after a cutscene and some mentions that seem to allude to a world ending threat awaiting you if you dare take on the post game challenge that would award you with the true finale of the game that is supposed to loosely unite all 8 characters. Be that as it may, the story of each character is all interesting and I think my favorite arcs were Alberic, Cyrus and Primrose. The battle system is a familiar one but it's also pretty strategic and it really pushes you to think steps ahead. I won't lie and say I didn't get wrecked in the beginning while trying to face off against the starting enemies, but they became much easier to face. Not because of the fact that I gained more levels, but because after the first boss battle, I really started to gain a proper understanding around how to approach the mechanisms that the system had to offer to get the advantage in battle. One of the travelers has an ability that would make the exploitation of enemy weaknesses all the more easier for you to break them with the well saved multi hit combo. My typical party was composed of a barrack as a tank, Cyrus as the black mage, Ophelia for healing, and whoever else was needed to get the job done. Mostly Therion though for stealing. It's a game that I definitely recommend to anybody looking to fill their RPG needs on the Switch, or now on PC. It's filled with lots to see, and the soundtrack surely won't let you down, as there's a variety of tracks to provide that good air candy that doesn't overstay its welcome. It helps breathe life into the world, from its common exploration music to some hype battle themes that really get you in the mood, even in the face of death. And for that, I give Octopath Traveler 4 Traveling Pixel Heroes out of 5.